there. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, a continuation of um, um, my topic is um, heed and be alert so you won't get um, deceived. Right? It's really important. Matthew has said that. Um, I'm not particularly in verses. I'm trying to relearn this as well. Um, all the, uh, if anybody who has it, I'm just starting this YouTube channel anyway. So uh, I wanted to be able to um, express and, and share uh, my thoughts on, on the teaching of Jesus. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to teach about the preaching of Jesus, to share. Um, do not believe everything I say. Um, or, or anybody, um, whatever you hear from me, please re, uh, check it on the scripture. Um, check it yourself and and see what, what truly is there, right? If, if I'm telling the truth, because the only person really is telling the truth is Jesus. Um, okay, so having um, said that, when Jesus um, right, said, right, according to Matthew, that you need to heed so you won't get deceived, because to be honest, I found a word, I was trying to pick a word earlier, but I found a word. Uh, you don't want to be a life waster, right? That your life is being a waste or you're being a fig tree. I always use that for my kids. Stop being, I don't want you to end up being a fig tree. <laughs> because I want that to, you know, in, in their head. But they're like, huh? You know, like is there this? But sometimes I, I, I know that it came from me. They have that strong personality, but that there's that gentleness in them too. But Oh God, if you, um, that type of, um, uh, they're very uh, cynical to, but the thing is just like human being, right? Because just like anybody else, we're being deceived of information and information out there, right? So anyway, so, um, it's been said that he warned us already from his, um, words that we have to be because the world will have all those, um, you know, deceiving that will lead, you know, like this, the brain is like a battlefield of like information. So it comes in and out and, and don't believe in everything that you, that comes into your head. You're not all yours. It's really important that you recognize this. Um, what's in your heart is what filters that's supposed to be. I made a video about the head is supposed to um, accept, you know, it will not accept, right? But you will. You better accept that God, it will come, right, to the devil. It's working 24-7, they'll put, you know, in your head, even in your dreams. But it's important, uh, that's why it's important what, that you have Christ in you, so that you can detect which one. It's like a, it's like that dating thing. You can do a uh, swipe to the left, swipe to the right, right? You swipe to the left, you swipe to the left, the right, just your, your thoughts, right? So I could not, um elucidate it further um i'm uh, i haven't had coffee i don't drink coffee so i don't have a tea i stopped drinking coffee now uh one of my uh vices i wanted to slowly slowly get rid of chocolate uh, bread wheat don't um get rid of wheat um yogurt and corn syrup i just want to add that to that okay uh i uh, watch my video uh, about that um so having said that so many deceiving, even in the health, you know, right? There's so many deceiving information that we need to be really, really um, be alert, right? Uh, otherwise, life waster. Because imagine if you're not putting the right proper food in your body, then you're wasting your life away. You're taking, I don't know, 10, 20 years. I just did a video about having a muscle um, posture and balance, about people trying to lose weight and they're putting that to have an hourly glass body. Right? What's happening is they're compressing on the important uh, organs in their body and their diaphragm is the breathing muscle that is supposed to be, our stomach is supposed to be doing that. Right? That's why that the people are you know big on meditation because that's what it does. Right? It does develop that and it calms you down because breathing is everything is life. It will calm you down. If the, I did a video about that. So it's really important that you know. That you're not being deceived in the same manner that all the information that you should know about your plan you need to have a plan if you did, don't have a plan you're gonna fail no I'm, you're gonna fail well seriously you're not gonna go up you're gonna fall so you need to really 
plan ahead. You plan for everything else, your birthday, whatever you do, um, but yet you need, you're not planning about after death. I'm sure everybody here has planned for their funeral already. So after their funeral, wedding, you know, a 20-year-old woman, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing majority, right? They're all, you know, in a normal setting, right? They're already thinking about marriage while guys are still thinking about um, their dreams and becoming a rock star or, or not to uh, the same intensity, like I said, but they want that power. They want that fame. They want that, whether it, you know, in business, whether in, you know, in whatever work career, you know, they're not thinking about settling down. Right? That's uh, the point um, that in the, in, in the relationship too, we can get to see that we need to find love and then we spend time um, finding that love. It's all over the movies, right? Because they try to promote movies. And movies are good, you know, temporary relief away. And friends are movies are actually temporary relief from families, right? So that's the purpose of uh, life and entertainment. Just for entertainment. Don't believe it, though, right? But we're being deceived that way, too. So we're also being deceived in... Uh, um, again, that in relationship, right? That if you don't have God, yada, yada, yada. And that um, girls couldn't approach guys now um, because it's the modern world. So they're trying to really have a modern um, doctrine, right? They wanted to have a modern scripture um, up just to them, really. But that's not the case here, my friend. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Um, the God is the beginning and Alpha Omega, the truth, the life, Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. That's why, with that statement alone, I'm going back to the topic here. You have to heed. Be alert, so you will not get deceived. Do you want to be a fig tree then? It's up to you, my friend. You don't want to have a life waster, or a waster of life, did I say that? I think I'm mixing, it's like um, a slang word. I'm not very good at slang. So, um, we don't want to be that. Like when um in, in John right when you know when Jesus just throw without Jesus he's divine not divine he is divine but the uh the p h e vine he is the vine that connects a branch is useless and might as well use for fire right like a uh, a useless branch of fig tree. Uh, it's just for birth because it's useless. It needs to be, it needs to be, it's just using space on earth. I'm sorry. Um, that's what it's literally mean in a harsh word. That's what Sodom and, Go and, and Gomorrah, that's why that happened. It's because people were becoming fig trees. They committed sins, not believing in God, being um, um, really, really vicious, very, very immoral because of that sin. That they committed the most, God cannot take that. Okay, that's why the wrath came down on those two cities that even now nobody wants to step on, and um, we all know that the, the 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 main sin that they committed there was homosexuality. And if people of the world is saying to you that it's okay <laughs> to be gay then brother, they don't love you enough to tell you the truth. And if I'm hurt that that the church, that it's already divided, it's already separated, it's already in war, the church, uh, the, ch ch the church of Christ, I'm mixing Christ, the church of Christ, right, is already divided, and yet, and they're already using it as a marketplace in the Philippines, it's all over. I know there's proper place for everything. This proper place for everything. Okay, church is a place for worship. Jesus got mad at that, right? So that's why they're not following the scripture, right? So we cannot, we cannot approach a God. Gay people are sinners. They're sinning big time. Sorry again, but I love you enough to tell you this. Now lesbians and I don't know what else, and there, it's not enough that 
that they're doing um, the sin. I'm sinning. I'm a sinner too. I'm a fool. I'm an ignorant fool sinner, just like you. But I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> it, it is a crucial, vile sin that God is so hurt that he had to burn two cities. And then people are making, um, you know, how cruel he is. How cruel are people, right? The scripture is, is not, um, a suggestion for you guys. It is a map. It is a, a, a way to live. So what is not the norm there, we shouldn't do. If it's not in the Bible, in the norm, we shouldn't do it. Just like your body. We need to have homeostasis, right? Our body needs balance. If it doesn't, what happens? We become sick. We become imbalanced. We become, you know, um, disease happens, right? So in the same manner, um, I think my video is 